So after a brief break, I've continued to watch the Studio Ghibli movies. You know, Fathom Events brought back Princess Mononoke on the big screen, and um, this would be the third time I've seen it. The first time was on the movie theaters probably like three or maybe four years ago. The second time was with my dad at home because I thought he'd like it, and he did. And the third time was a couple nights ago with my sister Megan. And, you know, like every Miyazaki movie, it's just, like, very beautiful. It just looks beautiful. And the movie's a lot more, like, violent (laughs) than I remember it being. You have decapitations, you have people's arms getting shot off. It's very violent, but not, like, exploitative. It's just like, yep, there's a role going on, there's going to be violence, but it's not really, like, you know, stylistic, I guess. Um, the, the movie is a very complex movie, you know? It's not exactly a children's movie. I mean, it could be enjoyed by children, but it's very, like, complex with its themes. We see, like, different classes. We see, like, just themes of love and hate. There's a big anti-war message with the main character not really wanting to take a side and his main priority is trying to end the war itself. And nobody in the movie really trusts each other. Like, um, San doesn't really trust Asitaka that much. Asitaka doesn't really trust um, the the Empress, uh, or whatever her title is. She doesn't really trust them. And nobody trusts Billy Bob Thornton's character. I actually enjoyed the dub <laughs> because I just like actors like Billy Bob Thornton or Claire Danes, and of course my girl Gillian from the from the X Files. And I like how there isn't exactly like a quote unquote villain, like um, the ruler of Iron Town. She's not exactly like a bad person. She's much more complex than that. She's not just your mustache trolling. I want to rule the universe, villain. See, she honestly just l- wants to look out for her people and do the best she can f- so they could succeed. See, um, she's not, like, just evil for sake of being evil. And I like that she kind of comes around at the end and tries to, like, have a more green society. And Billy Bob's character, uh, yeah, he wants the head of the, of the natal force spirit, but I just think of him more as, like, a man who just, just, uh, you know... As, um, just a man who wants to get things done for himself. Like, he's not really evil. He's more just, like, chaotic neutral, I think. A uh, Sigma grindset, if you will. So, yeah, um, there's also a strong, like, environmentalist message to the movie, you know, about, like, maybe it's not good to destroy forests and wildlife for profit. It's a simple message, but it's much, like, well-utilized. It's not exactly ham-fisted, like, maybe Olfen 55. It's very, like, it's a... It's... The message is clear, and it's there, but that's not the whole point. Like, there's also a really good plot and characters to it, too. And the music, like, all these Miyazaki movies, is beautiful. The guy who makes the music, it's just... He's just amazing at it. It's one of those animes where I feel like you could show it to somebody who doesn't like anime and they would still enjoy it. It's kind of like um, like one of those animes with mass appeal, you know, like Cowboy Bebop is or Attack on Titan. But people who don't usually like anime would probably like it. So yeah, um, Princess Mononoke is probably like one of the best animated movies of all time. Should I make a movie? Should I make a list of my favorite animated movies? I probably should sometime. That'd be a cool idea. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this movie. Is it overrated for some reason? I think it's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just let me know down in the comments. And subscribe for more videos. The next the next Studio Ghibli movie I'll be talking about is called Ponyo. I really don't know what that's about. And I've never seen that one before. So that'll be fun to watch for the first time and talk about it. But yeah, subscribe if you want to stick around for like Doctor Who videos, um, book reviews, like The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Sherlock Holmes, Marvel, Star Wars, Better Call Saul, This Is Us, pretty much anything. Uh, So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until then, peace.